<laughs> how it feels to chew five gum. I saved this duel specifically because, like, I wanted to be able to, like, look over it and just feel good. Every time I watch this game, it just fills me with happy. Uh, I switched your profile avatar for mine real quick because I'm the one playing here. But this is my deck just doing everything it's supposed to do, like, unencumbered by anything. It was like, oh, I just upstart goblin into engage. That's pretty cool. <laughs> your, oh, all right, your, de your deck is... Your deck is played Skystar. It's just like, I, I don't see this as a real viable contender this format, but obviously when a game goes well as this one clearly seems to be. All right, engage. Into engage. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's so disgusting. That is, at somebody call the police. That is a violation right there. And then I drew oh into Magician God. Souls. <laughs> I think I'm going to in the back seat. They're like, yeah, we got him. Absolute violation. Doesn't matter. I have called by the grave. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just why not? Why not? If you're gonna go, if you're gonna have Christmas once a year, why not now, right? Oh my god! <laughs> like this duel is literally just this is how it fe this is that commercial like how it feels to chew five gum the duel. You you are literally the protagonist, and this person that you're playing against is like one of the side villains. Oof! I draw another card. <laughs> oh, impermanence. Okay, okay. Yeah, and then we'll go ahead and casually set the engage. That's uh, another two cards. And a Widow Anchor. So you've got one, two, three bits of interaction. She's in searches for the Afterburners. Yeah, which is then going to... Yeah, I'm just plus it. six. Like... <laughs> Come at me, bro. And it's Virtual World. I've not struggled against this deck at all. I'm not really sure I understand now, what it's trying to do. I know how to play against Virtual World because I played Virtual World, the format that Master Duel takes place in, just the TCG equivalent of it. Hmm. Now, so, so Kaza, as soon like... as he summoned Gigi, all I had to do, all I had to do was activate Widow Anchor and take Gigi, and the duel was over. If he did not have Kowloon to get a trap in play, he could not summon any more cards, and the game would be over. And frankly, that felt too easy. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to let him play. And I just Wait. left it alone. So <laughs> I was you like... purposely decided to go, you know what? Uh, I, want, I want to see how you beat this. You actually decided to give him a chance. I right. decided to give him a chance and actually let him, like, play cards. I was like, I'm just, at this point, like, I, I already know everything his deck is capable of doing. I know what Shen Shen is. I know the VFD lines. I have three interrupts face down. I have in, uh, Widow Anchor. I have Imperm. I have Shark Cannon. I can't possibly lose this duel no matter what he plays. There is no scenario, there's no order of cards, there's no six card hand he could have had that possibly got him there. So I figured I would just let him have fun because I spent this duel having the most fun I think I've had in Yu-Gi-Oh ever. <laughs> so I was like, okay, cool, Zulkin. And he has a Synchro, so I can't imperm the Zulkin because it can't be targeted. And I was like, okay, cool, he gets a Crystal Wing. And I was like, at this point, it's time to start like actually interacting with him. And as soon as you flip up Anchor, you have to use Shark Cannon. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to make this board needlessly complicated for him. I'm just going to make him, like, super confused by everything that's going on. And just make this the most complicated game state you've ever seen. It literally looks like I'm drawing a country flag with the cards on the board. <laughs> like, it's all over the place. Like, right. he's got an M7. I've got the Imperm. Nothing matters. I've got, these four cards in my hand are more than enough to break through anything, so I don't care. Even if he goes for, like, Gaia Drake into Zeus, like, nothing matters. He's got the oh, Monster Reborn, Zeus. discard a card. Oh, I and got, it was Max C. <laughs> choice words to say about Zeus. That and sure enough, nice. he does go into Gaia Drake. He makes Shen Shen. Good for him. Shen but, Shen's the Macrocosmos, isn't it? Yeah, it's the one that when he declares this attack, he's going to get to put a card back in his graveyard. Like, it just doesn't matter. His own Crystal Wing's negated by the Widow Anchor, so it doesn't matter, but I wanted him to think I could use it the whole time. And then, yeah, he does this 300 to himself so that he can Zeus. He beats up my thing, whatever. Ray comes back. I should have just left Ray on the board and let him Zeus it, but I forgot that Ray was going to get banished by Shen Shen and just made a Shizuku that would get banished instead. But, so uh, you're, you're so busy chewing your gum. You just, like, almost misplay yeah. yourself. And, and he just gets rid of everything. Like, the board's... Oh, yeah. The gate is so pop... The game state was so complicated, he just clears out everything. And it's like, oh, cool. Perfect information. He's going to end his when turn. One material. When, when, he's got... the opponent, don't you just pass and then get back your crystal wing? Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> but now I ha I know he's got Nyan Nyan, and he's only got one material on Zeus, so I can do whatever I want. So I'll give you three guesses what's going to happen. Access Code Talker. <laughs> That's my first and only guess. Is it Access Code Talker? <laughs> right. Spoilers, no spoilers. I want to find out. Earl, have a great time at work, mate. Catch you next time. Oh, hey, look, he's got a light monster in his graveyard. Oh, yeah, Zeus. Ha! Huh. I hate that card. <laughs> Access so code's much. only 53. Oh, yeah, so wait. How do you. Oh. Okay. 15, 15 counters. <laughs> oh, you get the hit with his Zeus as well. That's extra, extra interest. There you go. And that's number Wang. That's clearly the opponent out. That was, uh. Well, sometimes just everything goes your way, and uh, you just have to enjoy those moments when you have them. <laughs> uh.